Hi there folks, it's Dave, and this is the Blue Heron Outdoor School, uh, Bujou and Shinab Bay Dog, uh, Giga Dejan Damen, Menadum and Ainsa Kang Nungum. So what we're going to be doing is talking about gourd stitch, and specifically uh, how to use the chevron pattern with gourd stitch. And this is really a teaser video, just to kind of give you an idea of the things that are possible with this particular uh, system. So. When we last talked, we were talking about gourd stitch and how it could be set up to either have the S line prominent or the Z line more prominent. And from there, it's not too difficult to get to the idea that you can actually put those two things together and create these uh, chevron shapes, which, uh, which show up, uh, in this case, pointing upward. Uh, and so here's a, an example of that in beadwork. And you can use this to enhance your, your bead design work. And I kind of make a distinction between the bead pattern, which is the chevron, and the design, which is the colors that you're using to create whatever you're creating. Uh, from there, it's not too difficult to realize that you can uh, do a downward chevron as well. And uh, this is an example of that. Now you can make your chevrons almost any size uh, but you're still in a three drop pattern and so you're limited by that uh, this is the smallest iteration of the chevron pattern and uh, and you know it's six beads here's an example of it in uh, in beadwork once you've been doing this kind of thing for a while you start to find out that you can change the direction of the beads midstream and so you can do things like this which creates a quadratic symmetry uh, and here's an example of that in just a couple of instances you can also set it up the other way so it creates sort of a lozenge shape and this is an example of that you're not limited just to those things you can also create uh, asymmetric uh, patterns with it. I've done this on several occasions. I'm sorry, I don't have any pictures to show you. And so about now you're starting to think, wow, this is incredible. And that Dave, he knows a lot about this. And, and I'm, I'm, I'm glad, glad you think that. I, I didn't get here by myself. Uh, and so I'm going to take, the, take a moment here and I'm going to introduce you to my teacher. Uh, this is a fellow by the name of Richard Past. Now, I never re met Richard. I've never spoken to him. Uh, my understanding is that people called him Dick, so I'll do that as well. And so Dick Past did an article in uh, Whispering Winds Craft Annual. Uh, it came out in the late 1970s. And I carted this, the, this magazine around for years. You can tell by the, you know, the coffee mug stain on it and everything else. And I carted it around for a long time. Uh, just because I knew it was full of great stuff, but I, I hadn't had time to fool with it. And so finally I had a project that I was interested in doing. And so, uh, and so I pulled this out and tried to, tried to learn how to do it. Now, uh, Dick Pass was a great teacher, but he was working with a really poor medium and trying to learn beadwork from text and black and white pictures is <laughs> pretty difficult to do. Uh, but I persevered and eventually figured it out. Uh, some of those things took me a long time to figure out. Uh, at any rate, this is this is Dick Past. And when you look at these chevron patterns, uh, you'll find out that they don't go back in history. And the reason they don't is because they are the brainchild of Dick Past. He made this up. Uh, he, how to make how to manipulate the beads to do these things that that I'm doing with them. Uh, really amazing man with an with an incredible grasp of, of pattern uh, so here are just a, some examples of, of things that I've done with it uh, it's fascinating to me how you can put these things together and do these different things with beads and I hope I hope that you too will be interested in this I hope to put out a whole lot more videos on the topic of chevron pattern gourd stitch and I hope you'll come along with me and learn how to do it as well. Uh, if you are way into this, then please subscribe. And uh, you'll that way you'll see the videos as they come out. 
Uh, if you liked it, please hit the like button. Uh, and I will talk to you next time. Thank you so much for listening.